Congressman Lloyd Doggett is reacting to the U.S. Supreme Court's 5-4 decision to block lower court rulings that ordered his district to be redrawn before the next election. I think the San Antonio court was right in its approach, but the court has provided certainty. I'll continue going up and down I-35 and trying to serve uh, constituents in San Antonio, Austin, and in between as best I can. The Democrat says he will be filing for re-election this November. Not in my state is a phrase you may be hearing more often. It is a new push to emphasize criticism of the new Texas immigration enforcement law and to discourage other states to take up similar bills. We need to put our foot down where our, all our civil liberties are being attacked right now. Leaders in the Hispanic community call it discrimination, but we wanted to know how the law is being received by those they represent. So KXAN's Phil Prazen turned to Jim Henson at UT's Texas Politics Project, who says it's not so simple. The Hispanics aren't completely one-sided. The Texas Politics Project polled Texans on the two measures of SB4 after the law passed. On requiring local police to cooperate with immigration enforcement, 39% of Hispanics support that. But only 33% support giving police officers the right to question someone's citizenship status. They don't approve of it. A, a pretty big majority disapprove. But at the same time, there's still a, a small but not insignificant share of Hispanics who tend to be okay with immigration enforcement. Henson says SB4, known as the Sanctuary City Ban, is more a symptom of partisan motives than racial motives. You can't get around the fact that the reason you get those policies is because the Republican Party is so dominant in state government and there's no way for the Democrats to effectively defend one of their major constituencies. But Henson says that Hispanics in Texas are usually more conservative than those in the rest of the country. While seven out of 10 white Texans voted for the Republican candidate Donald Trump in 2016, Nearly four out of 10 Hispanic Texans also voted for Donald Trump. And if these state policies are going to change those numbers, well, we'll just have to wait till the next election to find out for sure. I'm Phil Prazen with KXAN News. SB4 was supposed to take effect September 1st, but a federal court placed a temporary injunction on the law until judges decide whether it violates the Constitution. The state has appealed.